Morning, Kathy. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Do you have a Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, a good one. Yes, thank you. How about you? I did. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to log on to my computer. <laughs> well, no, no, you go right ahead. <laughs> you and I might be the only ones right now. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little time. That's good. Yeah, sure, sure. No, no worries. Okay, then. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Oops, you can hear both things. I think Terry, Terry just coming in. Great. Are you there, Terry? I am here. Good morning. Okay, good morning. Yeah, I think she's having a little problem with the computer. So I said, well, don't worry about it when, you know. <laughs> We'll all work it out somehow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Does that work? Yes. It was take care of you. Okay. I just threw my phone into the room because <laughs> I had to start it on my phone. Um, <laughs> I think. I don't know why it's okay. You know, I'll get better at this eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. We can hear you. We can hear very well. Yeah. Good deal, Terry. No we haven't heard from you in a little while. It, you've been uh, Christmasing it up, haven't you? Yeah. Sure. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, fun and family and events, huh? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We went to a couple events over in one in Sealy, and then. One over near our place. Wow. We spent okay. some time with about 40 people or so. Great. Any good conversations become of the, uh, being out with them or was it all just family time or I tried to mix some business in as well. Yeah, I did a little bit of that. Um, Susie and I got disinvited from a family dinner up in the north end of town, which would have included um let's see her dad and then the lady that he's married her kids because i had talked to one of let's see it would be I mean, it's a long way down the road but anyway one of one of her grandkids is a, a nasa astronaut wannabe or you know phd candidate yeah trying to be an astronaut with nasa and i had when i had gone up to ohio in the summer my uncle's birthday I sat down and had lunch with her and then explained to her how Kayani products could help her physical fitness yeah. and probably sit 
be something that should be, you know, introduced to NASA as a part of their program. Yeah. It's like Tang was back in the 60s. Right. And, and she apparently, you know, she didn't have much interest in it. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I didn't follow up too much with her other than the fact she said she didn't have an interest. Yeah. And um, she told her dad that and her dad had a fit and we got disinvited from the family dinner um, about two days ago. So ah, if, if, if I had not gone to GoPro, that probably would have set me off on, you know, a negative path. Yeah. But I just, I just realized that Chris has – you know, he has no clue of what's going on in the industry and he's just scared of the name network marketing. Right. Something right. has thrown him off because he's heard a story or he's been through something. <laughs> yeah. And, it, okay, and there's a lot to be learned from that one too it, because we've all done that and, you know, that was one of those things where, and that could have been, you know, prior to knowing yeah. uh, how we how we do things. It's like, it's not what you think will work for them. It's that, you know what? I've got a guy you should talk to. You know, I've got, um, you know, I can't get into it right now uh, because, um, you know, we're at a family function, whatever. It's not the time, but, but you and your industry and what you've got going on, you, you know, you owe this guy, you know, 15 minutes of your time at least to hear what he's got to say. And instead of being the solution, we've got to be that person that connects them to, I know a guy. And mm -hmm. it, because, yeah, I can see where that would happen because that would happen at my, um, at our family functions for sure. And just... Um, that. Actually, that's that's what I did. Was I try and set her? I set her. Tried to set up a call. I asked her if she wanted to get it to get that fixed, and she said yes. Oh, okay. So you did and all. And I tried to set her up with Casey, and she just totally backed away from that solution. So okay, okay, gotcha. Basically, I I did it the way we're supposed to do it, and her yeah. reaction to it was a PhD's version of panic and backing right. away in fear. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, gotcha. That that part I don't control. Right. Yeah, and, and you're right. It, it, and GoPro is definitely a, a thing that shows you it's this is doable. This is something definitely that we can all do. Um, it's happening. It's just not for those people right now. And. They may turn around later on, but for now they're not. It, it, it's like next, go to the next one. So, yeah, and yeah. it's 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 not for the fact that the product's not right or the business isn't working. It's just yeah. the fact that they have a perception of what it is that's totally blocking their ability to see the facts. Right, right, and if we can ever get them to the point where they're with Casey one-on-one, -on -one. you know, he can walk them through that where they, you know, but some, you're never going to get there. You know, some just aren't going to make it to that point. Um, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yesterday, uh, Rob's sister, she's one of the people that, you know, I finally got her to try the product and she tried it for a couple of months and, um, and then, you know, but she's been trying to get her mom to try it at the same time. And so she's had that just totally against her, even ordering. And so yesterday, she was sicker than a dog. She was so sick at our, um, you know, family Christmas party. And my granddaughter was starting to feel sick yesterday morning. She was there. And... I asked in front of everybody, did you give her her Kayani today? And Marlena said, yes, she did. And I said, did you give her two? <laughs> and she said, no. Do you have one with you? Because, you know, she knew she needed it. And I said, yeah, I do. So I gave her another one right there in front of everyone. And, you know, within another hour, 
Andrea was, at, you know, kind of maybe a couple of hours, was up and feeling a lot better. And it, she it was like, she just had a touch of something. She wasn't sick, sick. She just had a touch of something. She just didn't feel right. And that helped. Well, I can tell you, I didn't feel right yesterday uh, morning. And I had three before I left the house because I knew I was going to be in a house full of cooties. So, um, you know, it works, but, you know, t telling other people about it, <laughs> some don't get it. Some just, you know, never will. I'm hoping that um, Nanette, you know, I can have a com I couldn't have a conversation with her yesterday. She felt horrible. She shouldn't have even been there. But yeah, I'm hoping that I can have that conversation with her later on, reminding her that okay, you were sick at Christmas. We were all around you. Everybody else got sick. Is my guess. I'm just telling the story now. And um, but Rob and I didn't get sick. Why is that? I wonder. <laughs> so look for those opportunities, but know that sometimes family and your closest friends are the hardest ones. And it hurts. Uh, it hurts for sure. But, but then they'll, they'll be knocking at your door when you're a diamond and camera earner. Right, Terry. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No doubt. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Good morning, hey, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm sorry I was late. I I didn't get to get to catch Terry's beginning of what he was saying, but um, I do want to share with y'all something really quickly. Um, I yeah. decided to utilize a little caring hands display. And I yeah. put it in my office this morning. So I was having a conversation with um, the chief engineer here. And he, um, I just said, look, you know, I understand. I said, just I wanted to share something. It's the end of the year and tax times, you know, tax write-off and tax deductibles. And was wanting to know if you'd be interested in contributing to uh, Caring Hands and explain a little bit about the potato pack and stuff like that. And um, so tomorrow he's going to ATM. He, tomorrow he's going to bring me money to, I said, $25 will buy, be the family of five and, um, thought, you know, uh, you might be in. He's like, that'd be great. And I said, on top of that, I'm really close to getting to a certain rank in my company. And I just wonder, and it goes, oh, okay, well, yeah. I said, is it okay if I share it with your guys? He said, yes. So I'm going to talk to hey. his guys today too. So, um, That's hopefully, awesome. um, I'm, I'm going to plug it, I'm plugging it little by little. I'm going to try to get that what's needed so yeah you can do it that's fantastic and getting the information out there and then it, and then they're going to see that excitement that you have too for you know achieving the next rank and then the next rank in what they may ask you more questions about the business as well and you know some of those people that are making you know a boatload of money you know are looking for tax write-offs uh, as well other right. than just other than just the uh, charitable um, contributions, tax write-off. But, um, you know, cool. this is something. And, you know, uh, what kind of resolutions do you have for the new year? You know, because mine's, uh, yeah. my business is a health and wellness um, business. And, you know, if you'd like to get started right, why not get started on the products right away? Now's the perfect time to order so you can get started um, you know, that, year. First, that first week of the year, yeah. And uh, yeah, so fantastic. And setting up the little props and stuff, great job. Claire. Yeah, I you got it. thought about that yesterday and I said, you know what, I'm gonna bring it, it's been sitting in the package, I'm gonna bring it, you know, put it up yeah. there. And that's the first thing I did. I also kept track of the list. Did anybody reach out yesterday and the day before? Like uh, Jake's challenge? Yes. I had to put my phone in the other room because I don't know what I'm doing with my um, Zoom meeting. But yes, I, I met the challenge. I did the um, all the reach outs and response. Uh, you know, um, I had a lot of conversations going. And uh -huh. it was definitely over 100. And um, as far as the responses, I was still getting those trickling in yesterday. And um, 
then I'm going to go back with, like you said, uh, the, um, oh, well, I think it was Jake, uh, the, you know, what kind of resolution? resolution. Yes. Yeah. I did that. I did that. And I've got some great responses. I've actually had some good conversations and some that I'm going to definitely follow up with. Um, tell us some. Yeah. Huh? Tell us some. Tell us some of that. Oh, okay. Well, I have one girl that I went to school with. We went to school with, and we were connected a while back. And um, she actually um, is an author. She wrote a book because her daughter was um, killed by her abuser. Uh, she had a domestic violence abuser, and so she goes out. And so, she, what do you see? Significance. She wants. She goes out. She reaches out to uh, share information on. Uh, domestic violence and, and get awareness out. So she speaks to groups and stuff on that. Um, so she bought, she said, Hey, Claire, you know, she, she, I asked her what her new year's resolution was. She goes, get, get out there and share my message more. And so um, that was something to that effect. And she said that her book is doing really, it's on Amazon. And she, she goes, she sent me the link and she goes, I said, oh, you know, we need to get together and catch up and, you know, say we can get Delia to come because we all went to school together. And she goes, yeah, that'd be great. And I'll sign your book for you. And she goes, and if you don't mind, put it, you know, a good review once you read it. And I said, yeah, definitely. And so that's kind of started a relationship that, I mean, I hadn't talked to her in ages. So we're going to meet in January is what she said. And I said, that's fine, but I, I'm going to order the book. I got an Amazon gift card. So I'm order the book. <laughs> so, yeah. and get that doing. And, um, I, I see myself continue this conversation. I, I'm it's, uh, we're going to meet up in January, but I'm still going to keep talking and, and I'm going to, uh, tell her, you know, I see that you, uh, have a significant, reason for you know helping others i did i did build her up on that and said you know i think it's yeah. really great that you're getting that awareness out because it's really important and um so i'm still building that uh, that rapport with her and i'm going to eventually give her my story and tell her what what why i feel like it's so important and what i'm doing so, right and eventually uh you know one of the things with all the uh events you know we don't have a ton of events but the events that we do have and the the amount of people that we have at some of these events um <laughs> you might even check with casey and see about uh allowing her to set up a little table off to the side of like our sign-in thing at uh the january event um <gasps> nice idea yeah at, at, you know and selling some books while she's there um, or, um, yeah, or at least advertising it. So that's a good idea. Thank you. I didn't think about that. Welcome. I don't, you know, I don't know, but, uh, it, I think it would be a perfect opportunity. And it, this is somebody that's, um, trying to make a difference and, um, that's kind of what we do. So, yeah, definitely. I'm fishing in different ponds right now. Yeah, that's, so, that's awesome. That's awesome. But those, that was the main one. And the other ones, you know, let's get together. And so we're going to, you know, there's a lot of them that we're going to connect. And I'll start planning coffees and just keep that ball rolling. Right. Um, I may not get anything from them this, this month, but it's going to be, I'm going to keep moving, you know. Um, yeah. Keep well, planting them. Like, like we did before, this is the whisper part of the campaign. Yep. And uh -huh. uh, so you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, having those conversations and, and building on them and making them, you know, turning them into coffees, which turns them into the big event. So we're right on track, right on schedule. Um, you know, of course, some of those we need to um, <laughs> make happen right away and connect them with Casey. And some of those you can tell when they're ready, um, definitely jump and, um, and connect them with Casey. And, you know, let's get you promoted. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's really exciting. Really exciting. Uh, it's like, whatever it takes. We're all hands on deck right here at the end of the month. What, we still have five days left. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And we've got a lot of us that are right at that, um, right at that point. So, um we can do it yeah so yeah um um anyone have any ideas for that uh any anything that y'all plan to implement right right here these last few days 
other than you know just like following up on the i plan to follow up with the the people that um i had conversations with with merry christmas and you know wishing you whatever whatever i sent out you know to each person the ones that responded to that i'm going to go ahead and continue the conversation with those people um and and, you know, and that's a lot. So, and, and hoping that some of those will, um, that I can steer the conversation in the right direction and get them connected with Casey right away. And then others just, you know, do that, um, the dripping that we do to lead to the January event. But um, some of those I need to go ahead and uh, oh, what, crank the fire hose on instead of dripping. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's yeah, tough. really. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna uh, also oh, do a post um, on Facebook, kind of a building on the the resolution, and that way it kind of hits more people in my newsfeed. It yes. kind of just kind of um, I started writing it, and I, I said, "Well, because I, I, me, I have to I think things out way really too much." Basically, it's going to start off like this. I have no idea what I'm going to say the rest of Hello, everyone. Hope hope you had a wonderful Christmas. As, as we approach a new year, a new decade, this is a perfect time to reflect on what happened and didn't happen in 2019. The blessings and lessons may be, and that's where I was, <laughs> but I'm going to write something, you know, kind of that and then kind of build on what is your New Year's resolution or what do you uh, have to how do you feel 2019 or what are you going to do differently? I'm a, and then try to build some, get some conversations going. But yeah. um, if y'all have any thoughts on that, share that because uh, we could all post it, you know, whatever we put together, we can tweak it and post it and get it out there. Well, so, Terry, Terry will tell you exactly what I'm going to say. <laughs> what are you going to say? Keep it simple. Keep it short and simple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. share it. Share, write something and share it so that okay. way I can. And, uh, you know, okay, go check out uh, David Jones and Tara and see if they've got anything out there yet. And check out the Jade Factory and see if there's anything already done. You know, done for you is awesome too. And then you can just tweak that and add a little to it because, you know, they've got that whole solution to your resolution thing. So oh, I haven't seen good. that. Okay, I'll look. Yeah, so check that out. I haven't looked either, but I know they did it um, before for our, our um, um, Extreme Velocity, Project Extreme Velocity. They did it for that. I would imagine they've got some stuff out here for this one as well. So use that if you can um, and tweak it, make it your own. Um, but uh, short and simple post. It's amazing what um, what they can do. And also, Claire, you know what? With yours, especially with your before and after, you know, what you've done for 2019, I would put that out there and say, okay, and, you know, and then this is what, you know, when you put your mind to it, this is what you can do. This is what I right. did in a matter of months, and and you know, and everything's open now for whatever I want to do, whatever I decide to do for 2020. Uh, I know I can do it, or something to that effect. But um, okay, yeah, but definitely, you know, hey, yeah, I would put that out there. That was a huge accomplishment, and uh, people people like to see that and want to know and that'll and you're going to get a lot of congratulations on that because it, it was a um, you know everybody saw you go through those those steps i know eva's commented on it a few times i have terry we've all commented on i mean, it, we all watched you on that path and you did a great job so put that out there it's that time again so um okay and people are going to be thinking that way so, I thank think you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, uh, Beverly. Looks like Beverly's on. Beverly's on. Morning. Good morning. How, How are you? Good morning. You're the telephone receiver. I see you now. 
<laughs> you need to get your picture up there or uh or don't be scared it's earlier there no it's later there isn't it for me it's later yes yeah okay all right don't be scared i don't have any makeup on well i don't have any <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been scary. <laughs> so, what do you have going on, Beverly? Anything? Any ideas? Any uh, any plans for achieving the next rank and how to do it? Well, I'd love to, and I'm close, so I'm working at. It. I'm close to Pearl at this point, and um, I don't know. I've got just a ton of things for some reason a lot of my Christmas activities are all after Christmas this year so I've got different events all the way through New Year's and um, some good. of them are in groups I'm not usually um, yeah. going to all the time and so it's in a bunch of new people so I'm kind of getting my strategy together for um, you know a whole bunch of new contacts so I'm looking forward to that I've got like five events coming up terrific and what about okay. your, um, uh, okay, the weakest leg that you have, do you have anyone in that leg that is active or, um, or is it just a totally dead leg or what's the situation there? Sorry, I'm going to mute myself for a second because the lawn crew is here. I have one person who's a business partner who orders for herself and no one else in that leg is working. So it's pretty much a dub, dud leg. Um, I've reached out to her many, many times. Um, she's got great contacts. She's the one I have that's up in Fort Worth. And I, she's just the neatest person. And I, her daughter was real interested in it. She's in Nashville, Tennessee. And her mom was interested in it to share it with all her friends. And I can't get her to move. She's just kind of freaked out about the whole network marketing thing. And... She'll text me back that she won't ever set up a time to call. Should we keep setting one up and it doesn't happen? And I just don't know what to do about that. I don't know. Well, I, um, I'll share with you what I did with the second leg that I have. And especially with somebody like that that has a lot of contacts. Um, and I don't know if she could use some extra cash or not. I think everybody, you know, can use extra cash. Um, and depending on the level that you're at, like with me right now, I'm trying to, I'm um, plan to be Sapphire this month. So I've made a, 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 you know, an offer to everyone that's in my weaker leg that I'll give them a hundred dollars for everyone that they put in touch with Casey that has a conversation with Casey and either joins the organization or becomes a customer. I don't care. Customers are just as good as uh, business partners because once they're on the product, you know, you're, they're pretty locked in. So, um, so, uh, but 50 bucks would be something, you know, 25 bucks would be something that, you know, just put them in, you know, I've got this, I'm so close to reaching this next rank and you know, the only thing I need you to do is have a conversation with a person and put them in touch with Casey. See if there's a need, you know, it, the conversations that we're having are, um, you know, listening when they say they've got, uh, you know, something that we can fix, say, what are you doing about that? Is that something, you know, you've been dealing with for a while? Um, and are you, you know, I bet you'd be willing to try just about anything, wouldn't you? You know, if they're if they're in pain or whatever, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, what do you got? Well, I know a guy, and I put you in touch with him. That's the conversation they would have to have, and then they put him in touch with Casey. Casey does the rest, and uh, boom, new business partner or new customer, and you know, it's just from conversation. So, I mean. I would dangle that carrot, carrot for her and see if, you know, um, if it works. One, because this is something that you're working on and this is, you know, I really want to end my year strong and start 2020 stronger. And 
you know, could I, you know, could I get you to help me out with this? Whatever. Any, any, anything to add to that, Jake? Jake's always, Jake, Jake's a master at this. <laughs> I get all wrapped up in my head. He's, he's muted at this. There he is. Well, hey, I have a question yeah. about the whole going to Casey thing. I, I never really had him talk to one of my business partners yet um, or a prospect. And I know you guys are doing things differently, but what it used to happen when I would put people in contact, they would start over like they didn't even know the person, even though I edified them and gave the leaders, you know, a whole bunch of information about them. And they would just, you know, start over. And that's fine because then they got melt their own rapport. And then they would say, okay, well, let me give you back to Beverly and she'll just, you know, talk to you or whatever. And that's all they ever did. I mean, and I know that Casey's talking about, you know, let us do the heavy lifting and he picks the video or whatever to send them or tells you what to send. Or, I mean, I don't know what, what happens after Casey has that initial call with them. Does he do anything else or does the leaders take over? Does he assign a shooter to it or what happens there? Um, well, it, it depends on the situation, but yes, he would hand them back to you <coughs> um, and, let them, and let you know which category they fall in, if they're a customer or if they're a business partner. And, you know, and on that three-way message, he's going to say, you know, it was great talking to you. I'm going to put you back with Kathy. Kathy, um, you know, John's interested in um, the product only and and I've sent him your link to order um, if you've got any other additional questions um, you know Kathy can help you out whatever um, or if they're um, business you know to be a business partner you know okay you know Kathy John's interested in signing up as a business partner I've sent him your um, your website, whatever, to uh, go ahead and join the organization. He's going to sign on as the, you know, whatever back. <clears throat> so um, usually that's the part where we get to, uh, or, you know, John says he's not ready yet. Um, and um, I told him you could send him a couple of videos, or I've sent him a couple of videos. And then those would be the ones that you just, you know, continue to drip on or ask some more questions and say, you know, so tell me, you know, what did you like best about what he shared with you and what, what scared you away? Because I really felt like you'd be, um, you know, joining me this week. So, um, you know, it just depends on the person and the, um, and the connection that they have, but um, that's kind of how it works. Does that answer your question? Well, yeah, does Casey say he'll do a follow-up with them or anything? Like, you know, look at these and then I'll get back with you? Or is it just one-time shot with Casey? Because he kind of indicated to me that he stays with it for a while because I was talking about the comp plan, you know, and sometimes they come at you with questions about the comp plan, and he said, no, you don't answer any of those questions. I answer those questions, or one of the shooters will answer those questions. Right. So it's like, you know, how do you keep that link open if they just turn them back to you? Do you just keep every time they ask you a question, say, well, let me get somebody else for you? I mean, that's well, kind of weird. Yeah, no, you can keep the link open with the two of them. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I still have links uh, from months ago that uh, I could just go back into that link and, and say, you know, hey, remember John? John was a customer in the Philippines. It, do you... Uh, now he's interested in the business opportunity, you know, whatever the question, questions are. <laughs> he wants to know a little bit more about the comp plan. Could, uh, could you help him out? And, you know, so it's not weird because they've had, you know, they know that that's my go-to person. That's the one I'm always going to ask the questions to. <laughs> that's who I've already introduced you to. That's who you had the conversation with. And, <clears throat> and, and I don't have to know everything. That's the thing. I don't have to know everything. I've, I, you know, I've got all this other stuff I need to worry about, <clears throat> and you know, from my job, my life, my whatever. And the the beauty of this is we've got the Jade Factory. It's a system, and and I don't have to know the answers. I can plug them in with this person that does. 
So I use it that way and, um, and continue to, you know, I'll put them back and forth with, um, with him. <laughs> and then that customer might may turn to a business partner. So. Okay, so you, you do go back to Casey generally. Okay. Yeah. The weird thing was, you know, just kind of coming up with new people for them to talk to all the time. I think that would make me feel a little bit uncomfortable if I were a new person. It's like, okay, not only doesn't she know anything or she doesn't want to address any of my questions, but she's telling me all these different people that I've never met. I mean, but if it's one or maybe even two, then that makes it a little bit more. Um, well, it's a, okay, so this is the thing too. Uh, with uh, the Jake factory, you know, I, I plug them in with Casey. I plug everybody in with Casey. That's what I do. He's there. He said he's got the time, so I'm going to blow him up. So uh, then when they become a business partner, okay, then you create a, um, another little message group and you introduce them to Casey David Daniel, you know, me, Jake, Claire, you put all of the shooters in that group and you say, okay, when you have questions, throw them out here in this feed, you know, now we've taken it away from Casey having to do everything. We've got a shooter group here that can help you to reach the next level. And we called it the road to Jade. We're going to get you to Jade by plugging into this group, any questions that you have, any information, you, we've also connected you to the uh, Road to Jade page on Facebook, a lot of information there. And <clears throat> so that's the way, or, you know, and when they get to the next ring, you know, like, okay, we need to create a Road Deferral page for you. We've got, um, yeah, <clears throat> we've got you set up on something, but, um, um, Claire needs to set up a road to Pearl page for you. Right, Claire? Yes, I will do that. <laughs> so, yeah. So that way you can see. That's the way. Okay, I'm going to set up a road to Jade for Terry because he's like 54% to um, Terry. I just looked back there. You're 54% to Jade right now. Um, so yes, yes, that's definitely attainable. Oh yeah, it is. so I'm gonna set one up for you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And okay. Terry, same thing goes for you. The weakest leg, uh, you know, whatever it is, if it's uh, even if it's the kids. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've got uh, one of my kids and my uh, weakest leg, and I offered her the money opportunity. And uh, oh, and I think I mentioned this to you guys um, the other day, because she didn't respond. Yeah, because Claire, because Claire about her uh, getting a response from people, <clears throat> she didn't respond. And so I saw her yesterday and I said, did you get my message? And she said, which one? And I said, the one about, you know, offering you a hundred bucks for everybody you send to Casey. And she was, yeah, 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 I did. And, and then she was all excited and she's telling me what she's working on behind the scenes. Hang on. Sorry, the blower is right by my window. Um, anyways, so she, uh, so, so not only had she heard about it, heard me, you know, read the message like I knew she had, but uh, she was super excited about it. Maybe she'll get something done with it. So <clears throat> anyway, so yes, when you're putting those messages out there, you do not have to get a response. They're seeing the message and uh, they're thinking about it. You're planting seeds still. So, but Terry, that's what I'd recommend for you on your weakest leg to, you know, throw something out there. 25 bucks a pop. Hey, I'm, I'm serious about this. I'm going to make it to this rank. Um, I, I'm going to end, you know, 2019 strong. So, All right. I'll do it. I have another question about the acceleration program that's out right now. Wasn't that for any business partner that joined by the end of the year? where they can double their bonus if they get Jade in the first seven days or? I'm not, I haven't heard about the acceleration program. 
What happened? You have no. no. Okay, you guys. <laughs> that's really big because if they join now, they're going to. That's what my question was: was are they going to extend it into January? If there's any like talk about that within the in group or whatever, um, because that's that's really a big promotion. But that's one with Kayani. It's, it's a Kayani promotion. Okay, I've not seen it. Uh, let's rise and accelerate or something like that. And it, it was for start? business partners. It started in October. I thought it was October. Oh, November, the rise. Uh, rise. That was after homecoming. Yes, yeah. after homecoming. Right. Okay. I forgot about it. I did right. too. I mean, it's, it's huge because it doubles all their money. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay, yeah, we need That's to check a, that out. Okay. I have a quick question. Are they going to have any, do they usually have any special um, products by the end of the year, before the end of the year? They may. They may have something. They I would imagine it's probably going to be some kind of carrying hands special at the end of the year, though. No. My guess, I don't know. They haven't said anything. I haven't seen anything. I know, me neither. And I was hope I was holding out to order <laughs> until I get a you know something because um, I, I usually do. I always end up ordering. I miss out because I didn't wait long enough for the special or whatever. So I was just wondering. Yeah. Um. They've got a special. I'm looking at the Kayani. I don't see anything back there. No, I don't either. I think Jake was going to say something earlier. Jake, did you have anything to say? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, I didn't see that I was not muted. I, I was just going to talk about Casey and passing people to him. So. My experience with that is the amount of follow-up he's going to do is basically going to vary depending on how strongly the conversation was between him and your prospect. So if it was, if it seemed like uh, like a hit out of the park or however you want to call it, like if it, if it seemed like it was going to be a home run, he's going to follow up a few times. And if, if there was an expectation between him and the prospect where they were going to, you know, get started in the business or they were going to order the product or whatever. He's definitely going to follow up with that. But the, at the end of the day, passing someone to Casey is using a tool and it's a tool that you're using for yourself and for your business. So the responsibility still lies on you to make sure that you're doing the follow up. You keep that three way conversation open with Casey and you can still, you, when I do my follow-ups, I follow up with my prospect in that three-way conversation so that the prospect can see it and so that Casey can see it as well. And also, if, if I feel like Casey told me they had a great connection or something like that, I may ask Casey, hey, you know, it's been three days since so-and-so um, was sent the video or whatever. I may even ask Casey, do you mind sending him a quick message just to see if he watched the video or whatever? You can still do it that way, but ultimately the responsibility is up to us to follow up with our prospects, even if that's by asking Casey to, to send a message to them or whatnot. I would only expect Casey to send maybe one or two follow-up messages, though, as long as the prospect hasn't moved the needle. So let's say that Casey sends them the video and they agree and they say, yeah, you know what, I can watch this video today. Well, he might send them a message tomorrow. And if they've watched the video, great, then he's going to do what he needs to do to move them to the next step. But let's say that they tell him they're, he's going to watch it. They tell him they're going to watch a video in case he sends a follow-up message and they haven't watched the video. He's not going to keep following up. Like he's not going to spend his time pushing people to move themselves to the next step, if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. That's great, Jake, because, um, and I will tell you this too, the way that Casey works, if they are interested, he won't stop. He will, he, he will, they keep asking questions and he keeps answering them. And I've had him stay up all night with um, a prospect <clears throat> because of the time difference and where the person lived versus where we are. And uh, he stayed up all night and all that ended up becoming of the situation was a customer. But he saw the potential in the person and, um, and the background that he felt it was worth 
it's worth staying up all night for and uh, having those conversations and follow up. So, um, and you'll see it, um, Beverly how he uh, operates when you have somebody that is totally interested versus somebody that is kind of like, mm, you know, not really. And, <clears throat> you know, and Casey's thing is too, you know, if you told me you're going to watch the video at, at, you know, 3 p.m. and you haven't watched it yet and it's, you know, two o'clock the next day, I'm giving you a whole 24 hours, you still haven't watched it. When you told me you were going to watch it yesterday, <clears throat> um, and he kind of gets frustrated with that and he's not going to um, follow up as well with those people. So that, that'll be back on you for sure. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, we're over today. And, uh, and I'll try to find out more on that rise to whatever and uh, figure out what the situation is with that. And we'll address that tomorrow. So, any, anybody else have anything? Just real quick, going back to that concern of people feeling like you don't know anything about something. It's all in the way that you share it with them. I typically don't tell somebody that I don't know something. I just tell them, let me get you in touch with the person who can explain it the best to you. And the thing that we have to remember is that even though we might know the ins and outs of company and comp plan and all that, our primary role is marketing. Our primary role is to find people who are interested in the product and the business and if they're interested to share this with them, but we aren't the back office, we aren't corporate, we aren't the person that designed the comp plan. So just think about that in a corporation, right? If you were literally an employee of the marketing department and somebody asked you to explain toco trienos in the product that you're marketing, you might know something about it, but you're gonna tell them, look, let me get you the person that put the toco trienos in the product. I'm not going to explain that to you because it's not really, it doesn't really have anything to do with whether you're capable of doing it or not. It has to do with what our role is and using our time efficiently. And I think that's kind of what Kathy is trying to explain is that what we're doing is not saying that we're an idiot. It's, it's showing them that there's a system in place and we're being efficient with our time. I'm like, Hey, I could explain this to you, but to be honest, it's not really my main focus with what I do with this company. And they have to keep in mind that we're partnered with this company too, right? The company has people that can explain A, B, and C and the comp plan and, and nutritionals and all this stuff. So even if we did that, that's fine, but it's not really our role. We partnered with Kayani because Kayani takes care of all of that. Love that. Very good. And that's Very important good. to emphasize because that's when people start to think to themselves, well, I could never do that, you know? Claire did a great job, or Kathy did a great job, or Beverly, you do a great job, but I could never do that. That's not true. If they start to think that, it's because they think you're doing more than just marketing. Yeah, I love it. And that's the truth. It's like we all, everybody on this call right now knows the stuff. I mean, Eva could tell you the whole, and she could tell us the <laughs> whole, um, do the whole presentation for us. We've seen it enough times. We know all of that. We know we've heard it, but who's going to do a better job? Not me. I, I'm not the one. So I can pass that to somebody and we have that, um, you know, that's what we do. So I could explain it to you, but it's, but I know somebody that can explain it a whole lot better and they've got all the answers and let me connect you with them. So yes, fantastic, fantastic information. All right, guys. It's all Do we want to meet up sometime uh, this weekend or um, to plan? Are we going to still have an event or something? Or we kind of briefly talked about it yesterday, Jake and Candace and I. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? Maybe uh, Saturday or Sunday, just get together, do a working, I don't know, take what, what were we going to do? <laughs> have a get it, get us to the next level party. Yeah, I think yeah we'll all of us. Days. And we'll have a Zoom for uh, Beverly, too. Sunday might if, be the best time. Sunday afternoon? Yeah. How does everybody Sunday afternoon look like? Looks uh, good for me. Uh, I guess we can post it 
in the back office. I mean, not yeah. the back office. What am I talking about? In our group. <laughs> yeah, it looks good for me too. So it's on the well, just put that the time, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all put what y'all have available. I'm I'm available. I can make it happen. So, um, and anyone heard from Michelle? Is, is she's not on the call, and she wasn't yesterday either, or the day before yesterday. Okay. No, I haven't. I'll reach out to her. Okay. All right, guys. All right. All right. Y'all plan it. I'll All be right. there. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to get those Road to Jade and Road to Pearl set up for Terry and Beverly today. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Claire, you're okay. great. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Y'all right. well, have a great day. Yep. Thank you. Thanks you too. Great we got five whole okay, days bye. left. We could do this. We can do it. Yes. Yeah, bye, y'all. Bye-bye. All right. Bye -bye. Have a great day.